Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Kinesthetic with the Kinesthetics, and I'm here with you guys today with another day of Vlogmas 2021. Welcome to day 21 of Vlogmas 2021. Today, it's December 20th, and I'm gonna do like a two day vlog because I'm trying to get back on my sugar honey iced tea. You guys saw that I slipped off for like the past four days, but your girl's back, okay? So it's December 20th, and I was supposed to go out and run some errands today, but life was just lifing, so I'm gonna try it again tomorrow. But today I do want to get into like some self-care and stuff. So I am going to share that with you guys. But before we get started with anything, make sure y'all subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that red subscribe button down below. Join the family. I'm doing Vlogmas. So I'm posting each and every day until Christmas Day. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy. Drop a comment down below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this vlog. So it is currently... 518 and I am about to start editing day 20 of vlogmas you guys today has been a day but I told myself it's the last stretch and I'm gonna get it done so I'm uploading every day even if I have to upload at 11 59 I'm uploading every day so I'm gonna go edit this video and then I will check in with you guys once I'm done and it's up on YouTube okay so it is hours later I just got out the shower I feel so freaking good like a nice long shower after a long day chef's kiss so i'm about to do my nighttime skincare routine now i'm not gonna show you guys like step by step because i'm i'm gonna do like another detail video coming soon but i'll link the one that i previously did up above but i'm trying a new product today so i want to share with you guys it's new to my routine but it's not new to my skin if that makes sense so i'm gonna go ahead and cleanse and tone my skin and then we're gonna get into this product okay so i went ahead and cleansed my face i'm just gonna tone and to tone i use my pigment elixir from cynthia aesthetics they went right here this helps the hyperpigmentation and dark spots because it's formulated with choic acid it's formulated with choic acid licorice root daisy flower extract which are all ingredients in skincare that help with dark spots and hyperpigmentation sidebar do not mind my nails i'm gonna get everything together tomorrow i promise and then the second tone i use is cynthia aesthetics oxygenating elixir this one right here so freaking good like this on the skin baby mm, nice and plump nice and hydrating boom so now onto the star of the show the new product i'm using is cynthia aesthetics cynthia aesthetics oxygenating treatment so as i mentioned this is a new product to my skincare routine but not to my skin because she actually uses this on her client's skin when we go in for treatment so let me see how to use this damn cynthia this font kind of small it's giving font size too jesus okay after cleansing in the evening apply over slightly moist skin avoiding the eye area the gel will begin to lightly bubble and a slight tingling and cooling sensation will develop indicating delivery of additional oxygen to the skin okay so we just gonna go in at this point we just gonna go in so this is my skin right now so this is the top it has like a little hole i don't even know if i should be using a brush with this like you know say Okay, so let me apply on. Ooh, y'all see that? Okay. Okay. Wow, that was so quick. And I used too much, wasting product. No matter of fact, right on my neck. Ooh, okay. Okay, no more touching. <laughs> oh my God, it's tingling. <gasps> I show you guys this step when I get my facials done and it tickles so much. Oh my god. If you use like a bubbling face mask or a bubbling sheet mask, then you know 
this feeling it just feels so freaking uncomfortable but you just know that the benefits is gonna be lit so you just you just gotta deal with it <laughs> yo maybe i didn't put enough i feel like she, like i didn't put enough okay i'm just gonna let that like finish bubbling that was really quick when i get my facials i feel like it bubbles longer but maybe it's just me in the meantime i'm gonna put on my laneige lip sleeping mask because my lips are extremely excruciating dry right now as you guys can probably see so i'm gonna put this oh no i'm gonna put this on because i'm not i'm not trying nothing new tonight babes bam my face looks crazy and what cynthia recommended is to take her glow exfoliating pads so these and to use one of them to like wipe off the residue and like exfoliate the skin. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. As you can see, we are done bubbling. Bubble. Bubble, got a bubble. So I'm just gonna wipe my face with this, avoiding my eye area and around my mouth. Definitely giving tingle tingle and I exfoliate my skin three times a week if I remember but at least three times a week I exfoliate my skin so I'm just gonna do the rest of my skincare routine and I'll check in with you guys once I'm in my bed good morning it is December 21st it's Tuesday and I'm having my morning tea Today, oh my god, I didn't tell you guys. I'm like, I forgot to mention it yesterday. That this week is the first time. Is the first time that I am taking time off of work since July. Six months. So, I need it. I need a break. And it's important to realize when you need a break. So that you don't burn yourself out and stress yourself out and... Like, stop liking what you're doing, if that makes sense. So, yeah. I'm on PTO for a week. And I'm hyped. So, I can actually focus on things I need to do. Like, there's so many things that I need to do that I have not been able to do because I haven't had a break. And even though my job is, like, a 9 to 5, I always end up working past 5 o'clock. So, you know how that goes. But, yeah. So... I'm off of work this week, so I can finally do some things I need to do, aka wash my hair, aka fix these nails, so many things I need to do. I was off yesterday too, but yesterday I just wanted to like relax and like rejuvenate, and before I knew it, it was getting dark outside, and y'all know how I feel about being outside when it's dark. So today, I'm trying to get my puff in frame, but she's just so big now. <laughs> we love it here, but today I need to go to the post office to send out Depop orders and giveaway prizes. And I need to return, I need to send a return to H&M, which I'm going to show you guys in a few. I need to go to Stop a Shop to do some grocery shopping. Target to do some grocery shopping. And TJ Maxx, because I saw something the last time I was there. And I want to see, like, if it's going to work in my room. So, I'm going to see if they still have it. If they still have it, it was meant to be. If not, then back to the drawing board. And then I'm going to come home. When I come home... I want to clean my room up because, oh no, when I come home, I need to record the try-on portion of my try-on haul so I can get that video up. I need to put those clothes away, like clean up my room a little, wash my hair, fix my nails, and um, I definitely want to work out today. And I think that's about it. So, busy, busy day today hoping to get everything on my list done today and i want to be in bed and relaxing by like 8 p.m that's my goal that's the goal so hopefully we can do it i hope we can do it <laughs> but i wanted to also give you guys an update on the treatment that i did yesterday like my skin is glowing my skin is glowing i mean i feel like not to be too conceited or anything but not to toot my horn too much but i feel like my skin's been glowing a lot lately i guess it's the result of money or business and being free of any shackles of stress but yeah my skin looks so freaking good i am getting a breakout here i don't know if y'all could see it 
but I have my acne cream on it, so hopefully that goes away soon. But that's what's going on. That's what's going on. I'm going to bring y'all with me today. This vlog is going to go up for day 21 of Vlogmas. I'm behind by one day, but I'm going to post until like day 25, which is actually going to be December 26th. So, yeah, y'all get the point. And... I want to show you guys what I got from H&M that I'm going to be returning. So let me show you guys so I can package it up. Hopefully I don't fall. But I got this puffer coat from H&M. I showed you guys on my IG stories. And I got it. And it's just not given what I thought it was going to be given. So I just wanted to try it on for you guys real quick. So y'all can see what I'm talking about. So the color, chef's kiss. The finish, chef's kiss. But... Let me zip it up for y'all to see. And when I buy coats, I buy coats to be warm, not to be cute, right? So, let me pin y'all down. So, this is how it fits. Which is fine, but I like for my waistline puffer coats to, like, have the cinch detail. So, it does have these, um, it's gonna focus. It does have these things here where you can, like, squinch the bottom. Ooh. This thing is like sticking to my skincare, baby. I'm trying to steal my glow. But you can go ahead and like cinch the bottom, which I do like. But once you cinch it and you raise them arms, baby, your whole abdominal area is exposed. So I don't like that. And also, this neck, I don't know, it's just weird. And then the hood. It's not um, removable. The only thing with the hood you could do is like unzip it. So overall, I don't like the functionality of this coat. So it's going back. I think it was like $50, but I ended up getting like 20% off. Or 60 and I got 20% off. Y'all know when you buy things from online, they never be putting the prices on it. So yeah, I got this in a size extra small, small. I'll link it down below in case anyone still wants it. But for me personally, it doesn't fit my needs when it comes to my coat requirements. So we gotta go back. So I'm packaging this to send back to H&M today too. And my like postal run. So I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed now so I can leave. And I will check in with you guys once I start running.
Now what? I gotta try this. I have to try this. If y'all looking for Lysol at the Target and Mount Vernon, there's no more. Cause she took all of them. Nine? You OD and they're gonna tell you one is the limit. You know the cases are going up. You look to see if they have more, you didn't check. Then she gonna say, let's go and self-check out so they can't tell us nothing. They don't be having those anymore. Yeah, they only be having the big um, hand sanitizers now. So I'm home now and I got a holiday package from Eden Body Works. Thank you so much, Eden. All of the items in this box are black owned, so I just want to show you guys quickly what's inside this box. We have this, ooh, Island Love Coconut Rum Cake. I'll just leave this in my house because I don't consume dairy or eggs. So, yeah. Island Love. From Harlem with Love, Essence of Harlem in Every Bite. Mm. Oh, chocolate. So it's a box of chocolate. Let's see. I want to be see. Oh my God. Damn, I wish I ate chocolate. It has all these different chocolate bars in it. And there's one that's white chocolate. This was my weakness, yes. Oh my God. Wow, this is a great gift though. So it has all of these bars of chocolate. Do, my, do not mind my nails. So that. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave these in my house. If anyone wants them, they can have them because I don't eat. But thank you so much, Eden, for thinking of me and sending this gift over. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and unpack my groceries, record the rest of this try on haul so I can finally get that up and then go on with my day. So yeah. So I'm about to record the try on part of my try on haul, but I just got these pants in the mail from Misguided. So these were actually supposed to be in the try on haul, but they didn't come in time. Literally, they came today. And I recorded the try on haul, well, like the sit down portion of the try on haul before I went to Miami. So I'm gonna just try these on. I think I got them in a size, yeah, US six. And I got a six because I was at the four is too small. Oh yeah, these are huge, oh my God. I could always get them taken in. The four, if it was too small, it was too small. So let me show you guys how they fit. Okay, so this is how they fit. They are huge, but, and they're long. So if you're tall, and these pants are definitely like tall girl friendly, but I'm gonna have to get them taken in. I'm gonna have to, hmm, what's your thing? Yeah, the crotch is not too damn. I low key wish I got a size four. So I'm gonna see if they have a size four. And then if anything, I'll end up selling these. So yeah. I'll put the link down below. Hopefully they're still available. If not, they do restock once in a while so you guys can get your hands on them. But let me go try all these clothes on for my try on haul so I can finally put them away. Hey guys, so it's hours later. And I am uploading my video now, finally. My second winter collective try on haul is going up on my YouTube channel right now. But I'm about to get my life together because I still have not washed my hair. I've been saying for the past three days that I was going to wash my hair. And I was trying to put it off again. But my friend is actually having a friend's miss tomorrow. I want to go support her. And I need to look good. 
my hair needs to be done because I'm not gonna look like this. So I need to do my hair. And also, it's been over a week since I washed my hair. I was in Miami. I was in Philly. Like my hair just needs some TLC, okay? So I'm gonna do everything today. I'm gonna do my aloe pre poo treatment, wash condition, deep condition, style it. I'm gonna do a twist out. And yeah, so I turn the camera on real quick now because I want to show you guys something. So I've been seeing these earrings everywhere and I want a pair because y'all yeah, know I love me a good pair of earrings. But people were saying like, oh, there's 70 $80 on these websites. I said 70 $80 to what? 70 $80 to who? Who made them? Where did they come from? Because 70 $80 to these earrings is just ridiculous. So I was looking for a link for my Winter Collective try and haul and I came across the earrings and I said, God, if that's you, then just say so, okay? And I found them for guess how much? Guess how much? Two mid freaking fifty. Two dollars and fifty cents. So I'm about to order them because duh. And it's from Shein. One thing about me is I don't I'm not a fan of Shein clothes, but Shein accessories, sign me up. And I might even do express shipping if I'm feeling like it, okay? So I'm about to do that now, but I want to show you guys the earrings real quick. So these are the earrings. Let me open it so you guys can see it bigger. These are them. They're like big, chunky gold hoop earrings. But yes, I live. These earrings are so fire. Oh my God. But the only thing about shopping on Shein is that... <sighs> It's, it, let me know if it's just me because I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person who does this. So to get free shipping, I have to make $50 of my order. So I told myself, let me just go ahead and get a whole bunch of accessories from Shein because, duh. So here I am on Shein trying to find accessories. And I'll probably look for like a pajama set or two because I did have a um, pajama set from Shein a couple of years ago and I really liked it. Ooh, these are nice. Plain seamless panties, two dollars. Say what? Say who? Let me get one of these, and I'm gonna do like a Shein haul when everything comes, because I haven't done a Shein haul in a while, because I don't order on Shein often. The only time I really order on Shein is if I'm looking for something and I find it, and Shein has it, and I'm like, let me go ahead and make my fifty dollars for free shipping. So, yeah, but, yo, one thing about Shein is they do not play when it comes to their pictures, okay? So, I found this pack of earrings. Not my computer sounding like it's about to explode, but I found this pack of earrings, and they didn't even, like, take the time to take their own stock photos. They just took the photo and put it up. Like, I'm pretty sure this is the photos from the AliExpress system, but whatever. Let me figure out why my computer is going bad because... I have nothing is going on like you're barely even working i'm just asking you to do one thing to place my she in order hey y'all oh, my lips are so dry so i am back i told y'all i'd be editing i'm like girl why you look so crusty so i'm uh, making an honest effort to make sure i keep these things moisturized okay i should be doing that regardless but I guess that's my incentive on doing so. That's better. I just use my Fresh Beauty Sugar Caramel Hygiene and Lip Balm. This stuff is so freaking good. But I went ahead and I did my aloe pre poo treatment. So I just damped in my hair, applied fresh aloe to it, and put it in these chunky twists just to keep it together. My hair was so freaking tangled, like so tangled. So I was low key happy I did not record that step of my wash day because baby why was my hair so single why did i wait so long to detangle my hair why did i not moisturize my hair in between i don't know but that's it on that my hair look the freak good and these glasses look good too these are from asos i got these a while ago if they still have them i'll link it down below i don't know why they're sitting up here but i need to get my room together so let me just put them on they look real good i need to bring them out real soon but what was i gonna say i forgot what i was gonna say y'all i need to clean up my room and as i mentioned my friend is having a friends miss event tomorrow so i need to figure out what i'm putting on and i also need to record a i want to record a get ready with me before i go because it's later in the day it starts at like 
9 or 10 so I can definitely get a chit chat get ready with me done as I'm getting ready so that I can show you guys oh, I don't know if I'll do a chit chat or I don't know if I'll do a full get ready with me because the two is just too much so comment and let me know because this video is going up at noon and I'm gonna record it around like 5 6 so comment and let me know would you guys prefer to see a chit chat get ready with me or a full get ready with me here makeup fragrance and outfit edition i also post on my instagram stories so that if you guys don't watch this video within like the first five hours you guys still have a chance to say like what you guys would prefer to see so yeah i definitely want to do it get ready with me tomorrow and um i just have so much to do y'all i'm off of work and i feel like i'm still working because i am and um yeah that's all i wanted to say for now I don't know if I told you guys, but I ordered majority of Christmas gifts yesterday. And they all said they're going to be here before Christmas. Besides mine, I ordered a gift for myself and it's actually saying it's going to get here on Monday. But I don't mind because I'm not in a rush for it. I just got it just to treat myself to something. So I'll show you guys that after Vlogmas when it finally gets here. But I'm so freaking excited. Like, y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see. And I do have a lot of content that I still want to put out after Vlogmas but before the new year. So if you guys thought that I'm going to do Vlogmas and then y'all not going to see me since 2022, baby, you thought the freak wrong, okay? So I don't know if I'll upload the same schedule but I do have videos I want to get out before the new year. So I'll definitely still be uploading. I say all of that to say y'all still going to see me. But I'm about to eat something real quick and... um like wash my hair and stuff i'll show you guys what i'm using to wash my hair because i decided to use something different just because these are products i used before and i really like them and i didn't revisit them since i tried them just because i am a creature of habit and i just like to stick to what i know is gonna work but i had tried those products and my hair really loved them so i was like let me go ahead and give them another try baby so we're gonna do that but let me go ahead and get something to eat so that i could go ahead and wash this head it's currently 6.35. I'm trying to be done with my hair by like 8 p.m. So we'll see. Okay, time to wash your hair. So uh, the products I'm going to be using today are products I mentioned that I used before. So this is the Design Essentials Honey Creme Moisturizing Shampoo Sulfate Free. This stuff smells so good and it works so well on my hair. And then I'm going to use my Design Essentials Rosemary and Mint Stimulating Conditioner. I love the mix of rosemary and mint for hair care. It was a brand, I'm not going to say it because obviously I don't really, I don't want to say I don't support the brand, but I just don't prefer to speak on it. You guys should be able to tell what it is, but they had a rosemary and mint line and I really love their products, but I had to find a substitute because I'm not giving money and supporting any brands that I don't agree with, period. And then the deep conditioner I'm going to use comes from Texture ID. It's their deep treatment mask. So this is my little combo for today's wash day. And I'm gonna, I wanna put my Eden leave in. And then for leave in, I'm gonna use my Eden Body Works Moisturizing, moisturizing Hair Milk. This is from their Peppermint Tea Tree line. Y'all, this stuff is so good. So, this is my lineup for today's a wash day. Let me go ahead and do that. And then I'll check in with you guys once I get out of the shower. And as always, I'm listening to my Apple Chill Mix. You guys always see me show it. So I like the playlist that Apple makes for you. So if you go to like listen now at the bottom of your screen, the first icon and you scroll down, Ooh, you know my body because y'all know my body. You scroll down, they have like made for you playlist. So there's like a chill mix, a get up mix, a favorites mix, but I like to listen to Ooh. I like to listen to the chill mix. Hey guys, so I twisted my hair and I just came from under the dryer. I sat under the dryer for an hour to make sure my hair was nice and dry. But I'm about to get ready to go to bed now. And I just wanted to come on here to end this vlog so that I can edit it and have it up on time for you guys tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a big thumbs up on this video. Drop a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm doing Vlogmas, so I'm posting each and every day until the day after Christmas so that I can play catch up. But y'all get the point. So make sure you're subscribed. Your bell notifications are on. 
leave this video a thumbs up comment and until my next video which will be tomorrow i'll see you guys later mm -hmm.